On this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up on Cloud 7 server or Windows 7. There are four primary steps to install or enable IIS, install the PHP, install MySQL, and of course install on Cloud Server. To activate IIS, we go to Start, Control Panel, and search for programs and, and click on 10 Windows features on or off. On this, on this screen, find the Internet Information Services and click it. All the necessary files will be checked, but you need to check one more file that is not checked under Worldwide Web Services, Application Development Features, and the file is CGI. You will need to enable CGI support also. And press OK. This is the first time I'm installing own cloud on this Windows machine. So I'll go through every step with you. While this is installing, we will go ahead and install PHP. All the links are on the presentation slides. I have them open over here for the convenience. Uh, I'll download from the php.net website. I'll download the installer for uh, ThreadSafe VC9 uh, PHP 5.3. In this case, I have it already downloaded. And we run PHP. It's still downloading. We can run PHP. Once you run the wizard, press next. Accept the terms in the license agreement. Next. Then select an install directory. In this case, I'll leave the default. For web server, uh, we need to choose IAS Fast CGI. Next. Let's see this this thing is still enabling. I had to pause the video for a moment for the IAS to be enabled. Let's continue from here. We get the same error. Let's start again. IAS fast CGI. Here we go. Uh, this one will leave the default and finish. PHP has finished and we press the finish. Next thing to do, we need to install the uh, MySQL. I would suggest we download the MSI installer as it will, it will make a, a life easier. Uh, MySQL community server, the, the MySQL server I download is 5.5 .41, the Windows MSI installer 64-bit in this case. If you are running a 32-bit machine, this is the one that you need to download. Again, I already downloaded this and let's run the, the wizard. Again, we accept and we'll go ahead with the typical uh, installation.
I need to mention here that during installations I pause the recording so you can pause it also until we get at the same step okay MySQL is done make sure you have the launch MySQL instance configuration wizard on and press finish then the uh, instance configuration wizard comes up we press next we will select the standard configuration and press next install as Windows service and we leave MySQL as is make sure you have checked the launch the MySQL server automatically this is to to create a root password for MySQL create your password and please leave enable root access um, unchecked for security reasons press next and execute okay this is all done we click finish uh, please take particular note of your MySQL password as the username root and the password you selected will be necessary later on in the own cloud installation. Press finish. The next thing to do and the last thing will be to install own cloud from oncloud.org install we download the uh, the zip file you see install own cloud this is for Unix for Windows you click on this you download the zip file I do have it again downloaded and uh, unzip it using a free software like WinRAR to unzip it in this case I extracted to own clouds and I came up with this Okay, we, when, once this is done, we need to copy this file on cloud in a directory in C, inet pub www root. Over here, we copy paste this directory that needs to have administrator permission we cannot unzip it in this directory you you need to unzip it somewhere else and then move it with administrator permission okay it is now time to give write access to the on cloud directory to the on cloud server Let's navigate to the folder that we just copied. Right click on it. Properties. Security. Let's find the logate to change permissions. Click edit and click edit will come into the screen where we need to find our users and scroll down and check right apply the settings and close out now let's go to our browser and write localhost slash on cloud this should bring up the on cloud configuration page this one brings to the on cloud configuration page and on, the, on this page we will enter the desired on cloud username and password for the administrator and expand the little arrow we we will check MySQL and enter the MySQL root 
username and this and the password you you chose before and then database name I'll name it on cloud for username I'll say admin okay this is uh, very important to say that you shouldn't use the same password for MySQL and on cloud and now that we enter all the information let's finish our setup I expected to get this error uh, for this error when I tried before to install log on cloud I found a fix that I'll demonstrate also it's the problems in one of the core files that I need to copy and paste this extra line of code the directory is this one over here we need to go to on cloud leave private files cache and uh, edit the updater.php notepad plus plus is a good tool to do that let's go ahead and find that line of code that we need to add previous one Let's search for it. Let's see if it's the same. No. Okay, I think I found it. <clears throat> Double check to make sure that uh, you found the correct line. Numbers do not match, but okay here is I already copy and pasted that line let's let's save it close this and let's try again MySQL Good. Let's try this again. Perfect. As you see, the setup was successful. The fix was uh, okay. Uh, welcome to on cloud. Okay. To ensure proper HTTP verb handling, we need to uh, take some steps. Um, let's close the browser we need to open IIS you can find it from the search expand this on the sites find the own cloud choose handler mapping and 
find the PHP via fast CGI choose this and request restrictions and find the verb tab ensure that all verbs are checked here is ok and click ok also uh, ensure that uh, you do not enable the web dev authority authoring module since on cloud needs to be able to handle web dev on the application level let's uh, do a basic configuration of on cloud to do that we need to simply go to php ini file that it is in uh, C programs files PHP configuration to open those files you need to have administrator access so I'm going to open notepad plus plus as an administrator and then open the file from here php once we open the file let's find upload max file size and change this from 2 megabyte to 1 gigabyte and then another one post underscore max underscore size changes from 8 megabytes to 1 gigabyte also and save There are other changes you can make, such as the timeout duration for uploads, but for now you should be all set in the php.ini file. Another thing, now we have to go to IIS Manager, make one last change to enable file uploads on the web server larger than 30 megabytes. To do that, we need to uh, open IIS Manager, we have it open. Go to the website, own cloud. And in the main window, find request filtering and double click it. Find the, find the edit feature settings on the right side. Click this. And then we need to change the maximum allowed content length. This is in bytes. Uh, the maximum that this can be is 4.1 gigabytes. Um, I'm gonna set this to 3 gigabytes, that it is 9 zeros. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2 more zeros. And then this should be gigabytes. We we'll press OK and now you should have your own cloud configuration uh, configured and ready to use. Enjoy! I hope this video tutorial was helpful. That was the first time I was uh, installing on cloud also and please find some additional information on oncloud.org on website and also through our PowerPoint presentations. Thank you.